Oh, yeah, look at that, up before the sunrise. Or at least before the sun goes above that tree. Top of the morning to you, laddie. Top of the morning. Are you ready to get creative? Top of the morning to you, party people. What's going on with you? Are you ready to get creative? I gotta trim my beard up, that's what's going on with me. Of course you're ready to get creative, because if you remember from last month, what we learned was everybody is creative. So we're headed to another Creative Mornings event, and Omar Passens is speaking, who is speaking about pioneers. Pioneers are people who shatter expectations and break boundaries. That's what we're looking to do today and from here on out. So let's go see what Omar has to say. Oh, scary. Thank you. Th thank you, son. Turned into an absolutely beautiful day. That fog cleared. It's a great talk this morning by Omar Passens. Not sure if I said it that way earlier. Talked about the the theme was pioneering and how it applied to him is uh, he pioneered his his passion of craft beer, which I can respect big time, especially here in San Diego. It's a big craft beer culture. So there's no shortage of good beer. And he took his passion of that and um, turned it into an open forum, basically. He would set up debates at bars and breweries, and he would bring um, brewery masters and owners to talk about such issues as raising the minimum wage and, and the good and the bad effects of that. Basically using beer and his passion of beer to bring people together to talk and realizing that we're more, we're all more similar than, than different. So what I got most out of it is that use your voice, use your character, who you are, apply that to your passions to work towards good for the betterment of all people, no matter what you believe, what your political stance is, what your ideologies are. It's just about being connected, um, helping out your fellow men is what I got from it. So let's all go out there and do that today. I wonder where they're going. On the way here on the radio, I heard him ask, think about your past 48 hours and how many of those hours could you take an Instagram-worthy picture? And I thought to myself, well, none, none of them but that's fine by me. Can we all just agree that nothing is Instagram worthy? Everything is everything is Instagram worthy at this point? It shouldn't matter. I get why they were doing it. It was a promotion for Epic 48 Hours contest that they were giving away, so of course they wanted to hype it up, but really Instagram worthy? Come on. But for real, I gotta go find an Instagram worthy shot back by the river there. I'll be right back. So 
So you might be asking yourself, much like I'm still asking myself, but Matt, what are your passions? What are you going to do to help out your fellow man and, and inspire either a younger generation or those around you? That's a great question. I do know, it's as much as I like beer, that's probably not going to be it. I do love music. I do love inspiring others. I am wanting to be more open and honest about sharing what I think are the dangers of pornography and lust and um, also my relationship with God and serving others and inspiring others. So any platform that I have, whether it's this small YouTube channel right here or anything in my voiceover career or whatever that is, I want to use the, those platforms to inspire either other young men and the generations that come behind me to become them best selves, whatever it is. So I guess I'm still learning myself, but Omar was a great inspiration today as much as he worried that he wasn't going to be. It was very inspiring talk. So thank you again, Omar. Thank you again, Creative Mornings. I hope you can also find your passion that's going to help um, build up the character of those around you. Step number one, climbing the pillar of greatness physical fitness. Yeah, that's right. It's not always the most exciting one that I personally want to get in. And even four years into my fitness journey, I still have to push myself to, to get it in. But it does become a habit after a while, a great habit. I'm going to go for a run right now. Cardio isn't my favorite, but got to get it in for the old heart. And also, I'm taking my first visit to the Shake Shack later on tonight. We just got one here in San Diego, so I'm going to go get a big burger, maybe even a shake, depending on how long I run for. Yeah, get your physical fitness in. And always be sure to keep in mind, it doesn't matter what you do, just as long as you do it. I have the cheapest possible pass to 24-hour fitness that you can get through Costco. Check it out, it's a great deal, two years. Two years before that, I only worked out at home in my room it was just a little sweat box with some cheap dumbbells so you don't need a lot of money to work out and you can always get outside and hit some some bars like these there's a will there's a way so i'm gonna hit these bars right now run back and then go get my shake shack on whoa it is a small world or a small city at the least that sign was just for Omar, Omar Passon, who I just saw this morning speak at Creative Mornings. He did say he was running for, uh, for something, and so it's county supervisor. That must be coming up soon, so that's awesome. Um, and one more thing on Omar and the talk this morning, because it ties into fitness. They talked about how you shouldn't talk about it, but you should be about it, as in you should not just talk, but take action action in physical fitness, in your relationships, with your health, with your job, and I'm preaching to the choir here because I'm not very good at taking action all the time, so I need to be more about it myself, but that's what this process and journey of life is for, so um, I'm going to vote for Omar. That's a sign right there, literally, just saw it.